point, we are to proceed to the most exciting part of this summit, the sharing by LGUs of their innovations and best practices for the three decades of recognition by the Galing Pohok Foundation. I now turn you over to Ms. Henriel Eloise Omolida from the Local Government Academy as our host for the last plenary session for day one of the Local Governance Summit. Palakpahan po natin siya. Ladies and gentlemen, magandang hapon po. Good afternoon to everybody. On behalf of the DILG's training arm, the Local Government Academy, we are honored to bring to you this afternoon the last plenary session for day one. Three decades of LGU innovations and best practices alongside our longtime partner, the Galing Pook Foundation. Innovations across all sectors is at the heart of the Philippine Development Agenda on Economic and Social Transformation for a prosperous, inclusive, and resilient society. This includes public administration, local governance, as one of the key areas for transformation where sustainable and innovative solutions that can meet the growing needs of the Filipino population would be the key to the achievement of a matatag, maginhawa, at panatag na buhay for all Filipinos. With this, local government units over 30 years have been at the forefront of innovations in our country. To formally welcome you and open the session, may we call on stage the chairperson of the Galing Bok Foundation, Sir Mel Senet Sarmiento. Let's give him a warm round of applause. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. May hapon. Buhi pa rin. Protocol observe in recognizing all the dignitaries present here this afternoon. Magandang hapon muli sa ating lahat. Maswerte ang mga local officials ngayon. Ako oh, hindi pala maswerte. Kami maswerte. You know what? In 1992, the very year the local government code was implemented, I was vice mayor of our city. We look forward to a summit like this kasi nakakatakas kami sa solicit. Ang tawag namin doon, solicit exit. Nakakatakas kami sa mga solicitor general, yung mga taga-solicit. Pero ngayon, medyo malas kayo. Kasi kahit nakatakas kayo, Natitext kayo at pag sinabi mong nasa Maynila kayo, sasagutin kayong may Gcash naman sir, padala mo na. Kaya napakahirap ng uh, magmayor ngayon. Kaya pag tinatanong ako, tatakbo ka ba ngayong eleksyon? Hindi na. Mahirap na, may Gcash na. The 1987 Constitution marked a pivotal shift from a centralized system of governance to a decentralized model, responding to the growing demand among the people for more localized control over basic services. Hence, Congress passed the Local Government Code of 1991 in compliance with the mandate of the Constitution, which was implemented in 1992. The transformation significantly altered the role of the president, shifting the focus towards developing foreign policy, which in turn influences economic policy. Economic policy impacts fiscal policy, which must align with the monetary policy overseen by the Independent Monetary Board. External defense also falls under the, the President's purview, while the other responsibilities are now shared with local governments. 
the president's responsibility is not only to shape these policies, but also ensure their effective implementation in collaboration with our local government, who should be in harmony with the policies and programs of the national government, along with our citizens. Three decades have passed since local governments were empowered, which was marked by the automatic allocation of resources and the authority to raise local revenue. Implementation of the Local Government Code in 1992 brought significant changes in the role of local chief executives and the local legislative body. Local government units were immediately tasked with addressing pressing issues and navigating a new realm of responsibilities that required a collective learning process. At that time, we were still utilizing typewriters and telegrams without the convenience of the internet. The DILC Local Government Academy, represented here by Director Thelma Vicina, recognized the significance of sharing best practices, leading to the establishment of the first Galing Puok Award, launched October 21, 1993, in partnership with the Asian Institute of Management, as a pioneering program that searches for and recognizes innovative practices by local government units. The initiative eventually led to the creation of the Galingpo Foundation as a private awards-giving body to sustain the awards program, dedicated to recognizing exemplary local government programs that could be replicated nationwide. Unlike in school, where copying is not allowed, in local governance, adopting successful practices to meet local needs is encouraged. Today, technology has changed since the days of typewriters. In the age of IT and AI, we are facing new challenges but also new opportunities to collaborate towards the national roadmap ambition natin 2040. President Bongbong Marcos' medium-term development plan is aligned with achieving our national roadmap. It envisions a future where all Filipinos can meet their basic needs. Families can eat three times a day. Children can finish basic education, access to transportation, benefit from a strong health program, and live in a peaceful society. As we, as, as we strive to achieve these goals, including the Sustainable Development Goals, it is crucial that we move forward in unity. We cannot have a situation where a president is moving forward, the governor is turning left, the mayor is turning right, and the barangay captain is moving backward. We need to act as one a sense of community among our people and move as a nation to achieve the medium-term development plan, the SDGs, and achieving ambition natin 2040 as our gift to the Filipino people. We leaders learn from the past. Ang galing po has 300 plus best practices in store that you can use. As leaders, we address the problems of the day. Later on, we will have speakers and we would like to thank them who will share their best practices that we can use to address our current challenges. But more importantly, as leaders, we need to lay down the foundation for a better future for the Filipino people. Future proof, a future where Filipinos can be proud of their country on the global stage. Para sa bagong Pilipinas, mabuhay ang ulap, mabuhay po tayong lahat. Huwag pasensya na kung may nagsusulisit sa inyo at sinasagot niyo ngayon sa telepono. Salamat.
Thank you very much, Sir Mel Sarmiento. And of course, the Galingpok Foundation, our partner for this afternoon's plenary session. Um, before we proceed, I'd like to go back to what you said about the gift for the Filipino community. And I think us being here this afternoon, being together, me seeing a sea of leaders in local government units, national government agencies, and our development partners, seeing leaders who are committed to good governance, committed to learning and capacity development, truly is a gift for a normal Filipino like me. Anyway, let's proceed. Um, nurturing a culture of excellence.